All right, back again, Coach V, I have 11, and we're going to be breaking down the Jackson group this time. So, um, yeah, we're going to start out with uh, the Kalamazoo Kings. Um, Bobby, I know you are all about Jared Bethel, so I'll let you start Jared Bethel, baby, Jared Bethel. You know what? I picked them to win it last year. They made it to the championship game, I believe, but they didn't take care of business. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they lost two really key players, and mm -hmm. so I can't be as excited about this team. I mean, you saw what Bethel did last year with 61 blocks. That's a lot. Three assists per game, eight rebounds, and was really starting to pick them up at the end. But, you know, when you lose Steven Jackson and Joseph Shivers, who are your two best scorers, you're going to have a lot of trouble. I don't care who you are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, they they really replaced well. They got George Staley, probably one of oh, the he's most sought, off, sought out of freshmen in Ernest oh. Carter's very good, too. Yeah. George I mean, Staley might be the most sought after. Uh, Staley Rick could Rube. score 25 yeah. points as a freshman. And he's going to play defense. He's good. Um, straight out of Naples, you know. So, you know, I have a good relationship with him, but he just didn't want to stay home. So, um, which is fine, you know. And uh, I'm excited for him to be on that team. I. I like this team. They're good. Yeah, I think they have a chance to advance to the playoffs for sure. They could win it all. Uh, they're definitely not going to be one of the favorites. Next team is San Francisco. Mm -hmm. um, they brought in another very good freshman class, highlighted by Lewis Sandage mm -hmm. and Ronald Christensen. Those are two mm -hmm. very good players. Grizz Gasol, he Christian. always he always finds a way to bring in good recruits. He's a, he's a good recruiting coach. He's a, a good coach. One. You know, and... Ronald Christensen was just one of the... I, I just really liked his mm -hmm. um, playing style. You know, he can just defend, he can score, he can ball handle. Um, but, uh, yeah, they're, they didn't lose any starters, really. They lost two NAs. Well, yeah. well, Bruce Accord, I guess, got hurt at the end of the season, so he wasn't really an NA. Yeah, McCombs was starting to be benched at the end so that they could get the, the, the younger guys in. I mean, they do lose some key players, but yeah, they, they bring do. back their real stud, Wade Myers. He's the, mm. he's the heart and soul of this team. He's only a sophomore now, but yeah. he's capable of throwing up 40 points any given night. Yeah, plus Andrew Farnsworth um, can do some damage when he actually gets some playing time. And, you know, yeah. I think with uh, them, along with Staley and Carter, like, they're going to have a good team. And they got a good out-of-conference schedule. I mean, I think they're going to... I think they're going to win both of those games and, and make it exciting. Stillwater? Yeah. Okay. Um, we got Jefferson City here. Um, highlighted by highlighted by a lot of great players. They always... Benny seem, Wallace. Benny Wallace. Ricky Pelder. Yeah. Christian Curry, the freshman. They always seem to bring in just great classes. Yeah. They got um, some, some big names. They're good. Man, I'm just... I'm a real big fan of uh, Coach Fatch. Um, Fatch or whatever. However you pronounce it. <laughs> you know. Um... You know, they are they are losing Diego Thatcher, which was a great player. But, you know, his other two players? Yeah. Here's a special thing about this team. 232 steals. Every starter had at least one steal per game. They lose the guy who had the least amount of steals. 1.0 steals. That's weak, son. Wow. Anyways, you got Benny Wallace but head, head in the defense and I know, in the middle. He's I know, huge. I know you love Benny Wallace, but, like, the, the story of this is, like, they put Ryan Christian... On the bench. He was a huge recruit coming yeah, out of high school. He's good. So, like, he he got a little playing time under he's his stupid. belt. He might... He's really stupid. He's... Yeah. Yeah, he's he really wasn't very stupid. smart, but you know what? Like, I think he's ready to step up into um, the starting role, maybe power yeah. forward spot. I really like this team. They have a real solid cast. Yeah. Uh, Frederick Wilhelm, he's one of the best passing point guards in the country. They could do some real damage. Um... Mm -hmm. You know they got out of conference. They got Houston. I think that's a pretty. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's game in front of challenge. I Wait, think, Houston made the game of this year. Yeah, sure wow. did. Sure did. That's I think Jefferson City's going to take care of them. Uh, they could win this group. They're good. They're a good team. Yeah. Oh man, I really like this team. The the Scranton Birds of War. Um, mm -hmm. J Dub has just been doing an amazing job. Well, he's J Dub. He's he's what he is. He's a great coach. Everyone knows he's a great coach, especially uh -huh. J-Dub knows he's a great coach, and he'll yeah. let you know it. Um, but that's okay. He's a great coach. Yeah. But, like, what I'm wondering is, like, why the heck does the computer have William Santos on the bench? This computer's stupid. And James Porter. James Porter. In the N.A. Like, yeah, this team's, this team's good. This you, team you is You know you got loaded. a good team when that's the case. Of course, Steve Ammon. I mean, 
He can't play. He defense. can't play defense at all. He's he's the worst defensive player in the history of the world. But he can he can shoot. I'll yeah. tell you what. I mean, you can mark down a loss in their game against New Haven. He's not beating Wolf. He can't beat Wolf. He just he, he Wolf chokes. owns him. Wolf owns him. I mean, but you know, I really want to. I I I want to pull for the Inferno. You know, I yeah. I mean, I see yeah. five starters coming back and plus a decent class. Not. Not I mean, they they could compete for an NTT championship Inferno this year. For life. They're they're a really good team, uh, and I think they got the best player in this group, William Santos. He could be national player of the year. He's good, right? Yeah, and the Peanut Gallery likes this team too, so you know, yeah. you got you got to respect them. Yeah, we'll move on to the next team, and that's Athens. Uh, you know, they've dropped off recently, only winning thirteen games each of the past three years. But you know, he's. He's a great coach. He plays in the tough conference 13. And he so does have Nathaniel Small. He gets beat up all season. He's got Nathaniel Small, and he's got, um, yeah, it seems like all his, most his, he, he did lose two senior guards. Um, that was tough. Leon Lewis and Doug, Dougie West. Huge loss um, in that. But, you know, I Andre get, Colvin's back. They're returning their front court. They got a bunch of solid classes. Uh, they just, Jason Regan. They're just overmatched here. They don't have... Uh, nearly the team to be uh, competitive for at least a group championship. You know they're going to win a game here or there. They could beat uh, any of the top-notch teams, mm-hmm. but I don't see them winning more than two games. So he got um, just group-wide. I mean, it's really Man. tough. Yeah, this is another really tough group. I mean, San Francisco's really great. Kalamazoo's great. Um, you know, Jefferson City. Jefferson City, Scranton. Jefferson City's my team. That's who I'm picking. Yeah. I mean, they got so many big names. It's just an exciting team. They're going to be a fan favorite this year. You know, I'm really surprised, Bobby, that um, you're not um, picking your man crush, uh, Jared Bethel, you know. Um, He's not going to score 20 points per game. He can't do it all. They just don't have the scoring this year. Yeah. I mean, but, you know, what? if you're not going to pick him, I am because I love George Staley and, like, you know, I think they can get it done. And plus, Jared Bethel's probably going to have 20 rebounds per game, 15 swats. He's <laughs> he's the man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So you know what? You know what? I I got to take back what I said about uh, whoever it was. I don't even remember William Santos being the best player in the group. He's not. Jared Bethel's the best player in the group. <laughs> I, I forgot he was in this group. Wow. He's the best player in the group. It's not even close. There's no number two. Come on, Bob. Yeah. I'm, Come on, Bob. So you're gonna pick Jared Bethel for the group player. group MVP, tournament MVP, uh, life MVP. You know what? I'm going to pick William Santos because I want to disagree with you. you know? All right. Yeah. No other reason, That's really, but yeah, I just want to disagree with you. Well, let's take a look at the next group, and this is our group. It's going to be really exciting. Yep. Okay. Well, it was Sam's idea, and I think it was a good idea. Go a little bit of a Sports Nation kind of yeah, thing there. Yeah, I want the Sports Nation look. Where you just hear people in the back room, like, yeah. like, just yelling things yeah. every once in a while. Yeah. And I think it'll be great.